Welcome to GTI Spindle Technology. My name is Tom Honig. I'm standing here with Paul Tremblay. Uh, we're here today to show you our iPad vibration analysis and balancing system and exactly how it works in the machine tool sector and exactly how important it is to be able to check a spindle after a crash or an incident or to be able to check a spindle after installation and actually be able to trim balance said spindle after an installation, which is a required uh, procedure in installing spindles. That's why spindles are designed to have set screw holes on the front and the rear. So uh, we're going to do a full tutorial in a second video uh, to do the balancing tutorial, but for now we're just going to show you how easy it is to just be able to check this spindle and know that it's been installed properly, it's balanced properly, and aligned with its motor properly, all in just a few minutes. So Paul, if you'd like to show them our sensor first. This is our GTI 220 wireless sensor. It's a two-channel sensor. So I can put this on a spindle set as such and not only read in said horizontal position, I also can read in the axial direction as well. Right here is the Vipro 7 application. The positive about the Vipro 7 application, it gives you a live FFT. So I'm going to turn the second channel on and read in both directions and go straight to my spectrum here. I'll turn the machine machine on so now we got the machine on and you can see we can pinch in this spectrum and you can see there Paul look at we got the bearing frequencies here that they're not high yep look We've at that peak over there a peak over there which is probably the cog belt but everything looks within specification we hit the report button it automatically converts over to acceleration to measure our bearing frequencies we hit the report the second time and voila we have uh, in green both channel 1 and 2 for velocity which is our imbalance and misalignment and we in spindles in the ISO spec we are well within the green there for bearings we know our bearings are good we can take a photo of our data point so whoever's looking at this report will know what we took data on we can put any notes that we want in there and we can even give it a machine ID if we want we'll call it test for now um, and once we hit view and hide the report we can see the date stamp, our logo would be there if we chose to put it in, and we can look at the data we took, the ISO spec, the spectrum, uh, the map of where we took the data, and some good samples of what imbalance looks like, what a misalignment looks like, what looseness looks like, and what bearing failure looks like. And we can hit the email button, puts it in a PDF report for us, we simply start typing in somebody's name, it populates it, boom, we hit it. That, that reading has now been sent off to whoever we want it to and you can also up. save the report too to the ipad if you don't have the service availability in order to get that out at that time yeah so you're not limited yeah so if you don't have cellular service you can save the report to the app and then when you get back in wi-fi or what have you you can you can send that report out super simple to use within uh, you know 15 minutes to a half an hour of training any technician can uh, put that a wireless accelerometer on a spindle and know that the alignment from the motor to the spindle is good, our balance is good, and our um, uh, bearings are, you know, in good shape and not having wear and tear on it, or they weren't damaged from a crash. Exactly. You know, we, we see that a lot. Impact, impact. Yeah, very, mm -hmm. very, very many times we get called from many of the uh, uh, spindle service people out there. Uh, they've installed the spindle. They've got a vibration, and we got to come down and balance it after the fact just because they don't have this instrument in their hands. Uh, very inexpensive, very easy to use and acquire, and it very well needed. Just as much as a test bar or a draw bar retention, all those checks should be done when a spindle is installed. And if you'd like, reach out to us at www.gtispindle.com, uh, or you can reach out to us at 603-669-5993. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch the video today. How are you, Tom? Yeah, yeah, we appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully you're going to look forward. We're going to do another full tutorial video on this machine of exactly step-by-step -step how to balance this spindle so anybody can balance any spindle in the field. Absolutely. So we thank you for your attention, and reach out to us, ask us whatever questions you may need. Talk to you soon. Bye.